All right, again, but first, uh, thanks for being here. You know, really, um, a lot, you know, a lot to say about this team um, and the performance today. It was just a, a really gutsy performance for our guys. You know, our seniors, you know, really playing hard for those guys. Uh, being undefeated at home in the woodshed. Um, and a lot to play for, you know, the rivalry game. Playing, playing grand trophy, and, uh, you know, getting the team wins, which you know, it's, I think the ninth time in the history of, of the program to get the team wins, and uh, it was uh, it was just uh, it was so important to our guys. You could tell just by the way, you know, they came in on Sunday, um, at the beginning of the week, you know, after getting coming back from Columbus, and uh, just really circled the wagons and uh, really dug in, dug in. And just, you know, just eliminated the noise and blocked out the distractions, and uh, and just really, uh, I mean, really focus on the task at hand. You know, and uh, I just, I just, I can't say enough about this group, this group of guys, this group of coaches. It's a really special, special group, and uh, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, to work with them. And uh, they, uh, they're resilient. They fight, they fight like that out there, and they, you can tell they play for each other. I mean, it's like, it's important to them. And uh, so I'm just uh, very proud of the team and, and very proud of the, the staff and our fans um, you know, on, a, on a holiday weekend and to, to show up like they did today. And uh, really gave us a boost and gave us a lift, and they, they were in there deep and thick. You know, and that's, I really appreciate that. Our players appreciate that. And, and uh, it's just it's a perfect way to send, send our seniors out. So with that, um, you know, I'm very grateful. Um, very grateful to, to be you know, to be the head coach for, for this, this group of guys. And it's, it's a special place. And uh, we, you know, we're not done yet. We got one more. We have one more. We're going we're gonna to get some guys back. We're going to have to, a chance to get some guys back healthy. Which is going to be very important. Um, and uh, these guys love to play football and they love to play for Michigan State. So um, it was a good day. Now, the reports about illness running through the team. What were the last 48 hours or so like within the program? And what did you see from guys who maybe played hurt or sick today? It was a. Uh, it, it was you know we shuffled you know we had to shuffle some lineups um, during the week and you know contingency plans and we not exactly sure who's going to be able to answer the bell, um, but we knew that the guys um, that could play we knew that they would they would play if they could and we knew that we would um, you know get everything that they that they had and, and it's been a next man up. Really, uh, mentality for the last you know three or four weeks, and um, the guys have really uh, really embraced that, um, and and, get, and you know, they do what they they've done what they what they needed to do to prepare um, to to win a, to win a game like this, which was a very very important game. It meant so much to everyone. So yeah, we we, we dealt with some uh, with some illness, and then we battled through some injuries and. Like I told him at the beginning of the week, I mean, this is, you know, it's, uh, it's tough sled and, and at the end of the day, you know, no one cares how many guys you got out or how many guys are sick. It's a, it's a find a way to get it done, do it as a team, rally, you know, it's a, it's a binary, you know, results, production, situation, you either get a, you get a one or you get a zero, you know, and that's what it, that's what it comes down to. The guys really wanted to get this one. So I'm um, super proud of them. Coach, to kind of follow up on what you just said. After last week's, you know, how did you get the guys recentered and refocused with the 10 wins on the line with the possibility of a New Year's Six Bowl game on the line? Well, you know, we, um, you know, it started, it started in, the, in the locker room in Columbus, you know, after the game. Say, listen, you know, we're, we're not going to make any excuses. And then, you know, we, uh, we didn't play well enough, and we're going to learn from it. We're going to stick with our process. We're going to block out all the noise. We're going to focus on the task at hand. We're going to prepare, um, and we're going to we're going to figure we're going to you know make whatever.
Board of Justice meeting tonight and um, you know, get back to work, and that's what we did. And, and you know, we, it's, a, it's a keep it real session with our guys every single day. Um, and uh, so we, we knew what our challenges would be, and um, we had a plan of attack. You know, our players executed the plan, and um, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, this it really comes down to uh, you know mental and physical toughness. And that's a big that's a big part of you know how do you get guys back? Um, well, um, you know, you got to have some intrinsic motivation and pride, you know, as an individual, coaches and players, and you have to help each other out. You know, the power of a team. We really tapped into that this week, you know, and then um, when you get to when you get into the game, you know, it's uh, you know, so we want some more. Of who, you know, it's like what do you what do you want, and what do you willing to do to get it? And our guys play extremely hard, and so um, again, my hat my hat goes off to them. I have a lot, I have a tremendous amount of respect for this group of this group of players. You, you talked about the, the appreciation you have for these guys and what they've now earned is a, a, a game at the very least that's going to be in a decent climate and a pretty marquee situation. Are you curious to, to sort of take the mental fortitude you've seen with maybe a healthier group similar to more what you had in, in October and see what they can do in, in one final game with a, with a crew that's a little more not to beat up? For yeah, we, we talked about that you know, at the beginning of the week. You know, we said that here's things that you know, what we're planning for. And um, and then we have an opportunity, um, you know, to get our 10th win and to uh, have some time to get guys back, get guys help. And we'll be, you know, be a, be a better version, you know, of ourselves when that, in that whole game. And, and so there was guys, there was guys fighting to get back this week and, and um, we weren't able to make it, but I anticipate Getting, uh, getting some guys back for the ball game that's going to help us in this. Actually, you know, we're going to be a deeper team because uh, we've asked some guys to step up and go in games and, and make plays. And, and so, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're extremely motivated. And if anyone's looking at our team uh, now, um, they'll see the, a resilient team um, that plays hard for each other. Um, it's an exciting team to watch, um, and um, you know we have some uh, some playmakers, big time playmakers. And Cam Walker is, is you know is, is obviously he's elite level uh, player, and we're going to we're going to have we're going to have some guys back, some some key guys back in the ball game. So um, I think this, I think we have a very exciting, attractive team. Our fans are tremendous, and they travel well. They travel well, and um, and we're hungry, and our fans are hungry. Yeah, Mel, you had a lot of fourth down completions this year. Uh, what did you see on the jump ball to Jade in the corner of the end zone, and, and what was going through your mind on that onside kick and the weather, and winds up with number one? Yeah, well, um, we should, we do the hands team, you know, every 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 week. And, uh, and you know, Coach Ellis does a really good job, um, you know, emphasizing, you know, recovering all side kicks and you know, the attention to detail, the alignments and everything. And uh, you know, we go out there and say, hey, don't win the game. And uh, so that was, that was outstanding execution. And I mean, Jay Reed, he, he comes up with, he comes up with, he's coming up with big plays like every, every week, it seems like, you know, consistently all season. So he's a very good player and he's very competitive. And um, you know, fourth down, you know, conversions, uh, you know, be part of the game. You know, so we were you know, obviously had you know, issues with our specialists, you know, kick, kicking and things like that. So um, you know, we were um, we were in a position where we needed to go for it times. And but you've seen us, you know, this year we've done that. We're not afraid to. Uh, you know, to, to put it in the air, that, that's the best thing to do, um, and get it and, and get it to get it to our, our playmakers. You, know, you got to get a win the one on ones. Over here, Mills, I'm here. Um, 
You had a couple seniors make some big plays, especially defensively in the second half with Noah Harvey um, getting in that stop on fourth down and then Drew Beasley recovering a fumble. Now, how special is that to just see a couple seniors making big plays that kind of turn the tides on the game in the last game at the first stadium? Yes, it's, 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 it's very special. I mean, to see those guys, uh, you know, make plays and the, the adversity that they have overcome, you know, individually um, to be in position to make those plays for us. Um, and, you know, those those two guys in particular that you, that, you, that you highlighted are very unselfish players that play for not just themselves, but they play for the team. And uh, they play for they play for they play for the school. I mean, they take they take pride in the, in the green and white against Spartan dogs. And that's what you see with this particular team here. Is uh, you know, guys aren't just these guys aren't just you know playing, passing through, you know, to go to the NFL necessarily. They actually, it actually means something for them to play here in Michigan State. And, uh, and play their teammates. Um, they take they take pride in it, and so um, yeah, that's what you that's what you saw today. I believe you saw guys that are that just really mean something to them to um, to win that last game at home, and um, and uh, you know just end on a end on a high note and get the tenth win. Um, it's a uh, it may not sink into them and in, in now, you know, but as they, you know, as time passes and you know they look back, you know, they'll say, "Man, that was we we had a really, we had a really solid year. We did, a, we did some some special things and helped lay a foundation in, um, for the future and uh, and really you know shift the culture and really cement that culture because that out there was." I was uh, hard work, mental toughness, sense of urgency, attention to detail, you know, teamwork. Um, that's you know, that's what you saw out there. And that's and that's what that's what we're all about. And we're all about about that here you know, each and every day. And so those seniors and that performance really just embody that. Two more, Jim and Chris. <coughs> Um, Al, uh, what did you see in your offense and Peyton Ford after he threw that pick six? The way they answered, came down there, picked up one of those 4,000 versions of Peyton Ford keeping it on a fourth and five zone read with like your thoughts on the way they answered in that situation. Yeah, I mean you 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 gotta you have to you have to move on. You, know, you, you don't you can't act like it didn't happen. You know it, you know if you pick six or whatever, you, you don't act like it didn't happen. You you, uh, you accept it. You own it. And uh, you learn from it, and then you have to quickly move on to what's next. Because the, mo the most important thing is what you do next. And and so, um, you know, our team, our offense, what was we were able to do that. We were able to just keep chopping and move on to what's next. Focus on the next play, execute. Um, whether it's you know a fourth down conversion or whatever, having the confidence to. That uh, we can get it done and you know execute it. We played a lot of football. This group has played a lot of football, and we played them. Uh, played some very tough opponents. We played in some tight games, and we've had to make some some fourth down conversions. We have had to make two point conversions. And we, you know, recovering all side kicks things like that. You know, we've been in the in some t in some tight ball games, uh, and so uh, you know, there was no flinching at all. There was no never out, you know, was just, just keep chopping, just keep going. Also, uh, after one of Penn State's touchdowns, we saw you on the sideline doing some, looked like it was pretty urgent there on the sideline. You were talking to some defensive backs, getting some things straight. Now, can you talk about what was, uh, maybe not what was being said, but how urgent that situation was in the past defense at that point? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's, it's just really, hey, let's just do your job and count on, uh, on the guy next to you to do his. Capable, very capable of making those plays. We don't want to make them easy. We want to make them earn every everything that they get, um, and uh, it'll make the explosive, the explosive plays. And um, you know, defensively, when we don't give up explosives, 
we've been looking for lower numbers and we you know we we played much better in the second half. We really lean on lean on our front. We challenge our front at the beginning of the week and said, hey, listen, we're gonna lean on you on the on the front. Um, you know, to stop the run with uh you know with a light box and we can play some safety coverage and you know play some you know, three or two or four or three or whatever roll up with some good players and it's going that challenge, um, but you kind of had your rushing cars working together, and you know, I told them and, and said, you know, you know, we need everybody. Everybody's counting on, counting on you um, to hold your mountain back there. But just keep showing confidence in them, and, uh, and, uh, and because you know you got to go and play the next play. Um, so we did that. The two guys were just up here. First with Peyton on third down, I think he was 10 of 14 for 171 yards. And those were some long conversions. Uh, what did you see from him and his, I guess, unflappability on third down situations? Peyton? Yeah. And with Kenneth, uh, the ability to adjust to his first real game in the snow and kind of alter his style in a game when he was slipping around a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, you know, Peyton is. Uh, you know, every every rep for him in practice or get him is just more experience, more experience. And he just keeps stacking those plays and stacking those experiences. And he, he, he's a quick learner, he's very competitive. And so, um, you know, what works, what, what works is, you know the pendulum's gonna be swinging back and forth in these games, it's, it's inevitable. But what works is poise, patience, Keep shopping, you know, stay steady, don't get too high, don't get too low, and just go to execute the next play. And, you know, good body language, and, uh, and just really just you know, stay, stay focused on the execution. And, and, uh, and so he, he, he did that today, and he's done that, and he's done that before. So, um, you know, Peyton is, uh, you know, he, he he did, a, he did a really nice job today in a tough environment. And, you know, it's snowing and we threw the ball. You know, we, we threw the ball and sniffed it around times a day. And then K-9, he's, he's just a player. I mean, so so it doesn't matter. Um, you know, we're an all-weather football team, but, you know, he's an all-weather back. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter if we're on grass, we're on turf. You know, if we're down in Miami, it's hot. You know, we're here, in the snow. I mean, he's going to... He's going to get it done, and he can get he can get tough yards. He's shown he's shown that this season that it's not you know just a bounce outside and try to get out outside the corner and run. I mean, he he'll get it up in there and get what he can get. Um, and because you never know when you're going to pop one, you know, and and that's and that really helps our offensive line. You know, those guys block really hard for him because he's some you know sometimes you know. The two, three, four yards, you know, getting up in there. Um, sometimes that's, that's all that's there. And you gotta take it, and then you gotta keep. You gotta keep pounding. You gotta keep one of those body blows, and then you're gonna pop some. You know, and so and then and to be able to continue to do that is really good because you know that it matches up with our play action. You know, and we don't become one dimensional. And so he, so he's shown. He. Be, you know, he's shown toughness and, and talent. You know, toughness and talent. You know, and that's 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 important. He's not just a he's just not a talented guy that can make you miss out. I mean, the guy so he's rugged and he's tough and he runs hard. And uh, and that's what and that's what the great the great backs do. Do you think he popped that one from the ones? Do you think he when he was running for it? Do you think he was going to have the 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 house from the, the one yard line? I think he was going to have it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, looking like it, but you know, it is what it is. And final one on the far side, Coach. Hey, Mel, over here to your left. Um, with the contract extension this week, I guess from your perspective, how important was it to get it done? What kind of statement do you think that makes about this program where it's headed? And I wonder also today with you and James out there and his extension this week, is there some added significance here, you know, as, as a black head coach and, and what that means for the sport at both levels, really? Yeah, I really haven't had an opportunity to to really uh, reflect on that uh, yet um, because obviously, you know, the, the preparation um, for the game was the, 
was was our main focus and my main focus was the was the only focus really. I mean that was what it was all about. And, um, but you know, I, I said from the beginning that I thought this was a I believe that Michigan State is a is a destination job, it's not a stepping stone. Um, and you know, we want to um, we want to bring that national championship to East Lansing. You know, that's the goal, that's the plan. Um, and we want to be in that conversation year in and year out. And obviously there's a commitment to do that. And so um, and you know um, in terms of you know um, like black head coaches, you know, there's very few, you know, obviously and I think maybe out of 130, maybe I think it was 13, maybe 12 now. And I'm not exactly sure, but it's, it's a small percentage. Um, and so, um, you know, everything that I do for, everything that I do um, is, a, you know, has significance um, and has meaning, you know, across all different types of fronts. You know, there's, a, you know, there's, a, there's, everyone's watching. And so, uh, <coughs> in terms of what, what that all means, I think I haven't really had an opportunity to, to, uh, to reflect and, and digest, you know, that. Because, uh, you know, the, the uh, preparation and what it takes to, and what, what goes into helping to prepare a team for, for, a, for a big team game like this is, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a 24 7 type deal, and you, you cannot allow yourself to be distracted in any way. Thank you so much. Appreciate your efforts all, all season.